Today we're going to take a look at the 7 inch right hand electric brake assembly for 2,000 pound axles. Now electric brakes are a lot easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Electric brakes will only require an electric brake controller to operate them. They, we do sell the brake controller separately on our website. There is no actuator or hydraulic lines necessary with electric brakes. Now on this one, the brake shoes are lined with a nice automotive grade friction material. And if you notice, this friction material is fully bonded. It is not riveted to the shoes. It gives a lot longer life, more braking torque. Also on this lining, the edges, they do taper the edges. And then they do a circular grinding of the material. And the reason they do this is to prevent cracking and crumbling that can lead to mechanical lockup. Now these are manual adjustment brakes. So there is a periodic manual adjustment that is required. And when you go to adjust them, what you do is go to the back and pop this adjuster plug out right here at the bottom. And there'll be a hole there that you can get your tool or screwdriver in. And you can turn this star wheel at the bottom to adjust the brakes in or out. The nice thing on this, they use a fine tooth brake adjustment gear on this, so it allows for a more precise setting or adjustment. And when you do install these, there is no break-in period needed. Now the backing plate that the brakes are attached to has a nice E-coating to it to help resist wear and corrosion. And as I mentioned, that adjuster hole, this one actually also comes with the adjuster plug that you put in that hole when you're done adjusting it. Put that rubber plug back in and that's nice because it keeps the dirt from getting into your brake assembly and causing problems. If you notice the bolts, the mounting bolts are included. This is designed to fit a four bolt brake mounting flange. The nuts and the lock washers that are used to hold this onto the brake mounting flange, we do sell those separately on our website and they are usually listed on this product page as a related product. Now this brake assembly is certified for QAI, which is Quality Assurance International, and CSA, which is the Canadian Standards Association. Now this is a seven by one and a quarter inch brake assembly. When we say that size, basically what we're saying, seven inches is the diameter if we measure outside to outside. So if we take a ruler and put it on there, edge to edge, you can see a seven inches. And by one and a quarter means the width of the brake pad. So if you put that on, you can see one and a quarter. So seven by one and a quarter. And this is the right hand or passenger side brake assembly. And the way you can tell that, now this one, most of them will come with a sticker on it that says right hand side. But if that sticker wasn't there, the easiest way to tell what side this is for is you look at the, uh, the size of the shoe, the lining on the shoe. If you look at this one, it's a smaller lining. This one's a lot larger lining. The shoe with the smaller will always face towards the front of the trailer. So if that's in the case, this would be the front of the trailer. The smaller shoe faces that way. That would make this the right hand side or passenger side assembly. That's the easiest way to tell what side it goes on. Now this is designed for an axle rating of 2,000 pounds. This does use seven inch drums. And these are electric brakes. If you'll notice the two white wires coming out the back, they do need to collect, or they do need to be connected to, one needs to be grounded. The other will connect to the brake feed to supply power to this electric magnet. And it doesn't matter which one's connected to which, both of them are white wires. You can connect either wire for either function. But that should do it for the review of the 7-inch right-hand electric brake assembly for a 2,000-pound axle.